I just looked at a movie. Murder Ball was an excellent, are you ready for this, are you ready for this, documentary on a fascinating sport that many of you, if you're like me, didn't even know existed. However, documentaries don't scare away audiences anymore like they used to, and when they're done well, as this one certainly is, they can be riveting and suspenseful and character-driven in ways that Hollywood studios no longer make. The game was developed in Canada, and its original name was Murder Ball, but now it's known as Wheelchair Rugby or Quad Rugby, and there are national teams who even compete every four years in the Paralympics, which is short for Parallel Olympics and is not to be confused with the Special Olympics. The rules are simple. Teams consist of four players apiece. They play on an indoor court, and a player has to dribble once every ten seconds or pass to another teammate in an attempt to carry the ball to the end of the court. Other than that, as one American team player says, it's kill the man with the ball. The wheelchairs are specially made and built for ruggedness, which is how you could also describe the players. If a popular slogan is rugby players eat their dead, for these players you could add and pick their teeth with the bones. Although three important games between Team USA and Team Canada are featured, the film focuses more on the players, and that's what makes it so fascinating. Mark Zupan is the captain of Team USA, and we follow him to his 10-year high school reunion, where he meets his former best friend who was responsible for the accident that paralyzed Zupan. Joe Soares, who looks like Robert Duvall, is the coach of Team Canada, but he's an American who used to play for Team USA until he was cut, and the only reason he went to Canada was to beat the Americans. And Keith Cavill, who looks like NASCAR racer Jeff Gordon, is a recent quadriplegic who learns about wheelchair rugby and is interested in playing so he can get back on his feet, so to speak. And yes, quadriplegics can have sex, as the film readily covers. Murderball uses beautiful symmetry to tell its story, which is emotional on so many levels. I'm Dan Culberson, and this is Hot Shots.